Bruce of Holland. We think, we think of um, we think all these extraordinary artists, Haroon Mirza from Bangladeshi heritage. That is British culture. That's what we're about. It's yeah, about right on, man. Right on. different people, British culture, to make it really strong, rich. And uh, so let's hear it one more time. Immigration, Immigration is a good, good thing, thing for British, British culture. culture. And it's a good thing because what unites human beings, what unites human beings, ears, eyes, toes, hearts, hopes and loves is huge and wonderful. And what divides, uh, what divides people, human beings is smaller me. Now have you got your readers on? You've got to read this out now. One, two, three. What unites human beings, ears, eyes, toes, hearts, hopes, loves, is huge and wonderful. But what divides human beings is small and mean. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. I never had that done so well. And it's because art makes people powerful. Yes, it does. And it makes people powerful because art in schools isn't a gift from the wealthy and the rich to people who haven't got art. All people have art. When you have a child, you realise that this child has to learn language. The way it does it is by language acquisition. What it does, it draws a circle and it says it proffers something to the world. It's a gift to the world and it says this circle is mum, this circle is dad, that square is a house. So actually drawing is part of language acquisition. It's something that all human beings have. It's not a gift, it's not a talent, it is just something that you, 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 you have. And once you had it, and you can have it again, because Art, Art is, is your, your human, human right. right. Yes, it is. What is it? Art is your, your human right. right. Art is your human right. Now, okay, I'll never forget this guys. Who knows? Who knows? Sit on the dock of the boat. Otis Redding. Otis Redding. Now, I have a dream. <laughs> I have a dream that one day I'll make an, a piece of art that will have the passion, that will have the chutzpah, the dynamism of an Otis Redding song. Wow. Gutter, we gutter. <laughs> we gutter save the art history A level. Let's hear it. We gutter, gotta, we gotta, gotta save, save the art history A level. We've got to save the art history A level. <laughs> got what are we going to save? The art history, the history A level. level! What are we going to save? The, the art history A level! I can see it be said. Now this is a song, and Jesse and I played this last night. It goes like this. All schools, all schools should be art schools, art schools. All schools, all schools should be art schools, art schools. All schools, all schools should be art schools, art schools. Art schools, art schools should be art schools, art schools. All schools, all schools should be art schools, art schools. All schools, all schools should be art schools, art schools. All schools should be art schools, art schools. All schools, all schools should be art schools, art schools. Remember, what is it? Art is your human right. Now this is all going to get very serious now. We're going to take it down. We're going to take it down. There is a spirit about being an artist. There is a spirit about making art, which is really important. People talk about esprit de corps. Well, there's esprit de art. And esprit de art is Agnes Martin hanging out in, hang, heading out into the desert to make white paintings yes. after her friend. Yes, it is. Let's hear it. When I say Agnes Martin heading out in the desert to make white paintings, it would be lovely if you all said yes. Yes! yes. yes. Agnes Martin heading out into the desert to make white paintings. Yes! yes. After her friend Ad Reinhardt, who made black paintings, took his life in New York City. Oh. Poor Bates standing on the barricades of the Bastille, only to be imprisoned for speaking out. Esprit de art is Matisse. 
painting beautiful images with sumptuous colour and then slumping in an armchair to look at them. The speed of art is Louise Bourgeois smashing a vase, expressing yeah. anger with her father. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> the speed of art is Andy Warhol saying, I don't know, or maybe when being asked constant questions in a press conference. Yeah. The speed of art is anything and everything that Van Gogh said or did. Yeah. The speed of art is Frida Kahlo sleeping with Trotsky. Yeah. The speed of art is Helen Chadwick pissing in the snow. Yeah. The cast of the void. Yeah. The speed of art is Lucy Nagara making earrings from glass vials filled with explosive. Yeah. The speed of art is Picasso travelling to a peace conference in Sheffield and declaring, I stand for life, not death, for art, not war. Yeah. Yeah. The speed of art is Francis Bacon getting drunk with Melvin Frank in the colony. The speed of art is Ai Weiwei travelling to a school that had collapsed in Sichuan province because it had been made from cheap steel, powdery concrete and corruption to collect the school bags of the children who had died and exhibit them around the world. And he got beaten up and imprisoned for his trouble. The speed of art is Cornelia Parker driving a steamroller over 30 pieces of silver and blowing up her garden shed. Yes! The speed of art is Picasso painting a screaming horse in Guernica. Yeah! The speed of art is David Hockney's swimming pool. Yes! The speed of art is Turner lashing himself to the mast to paint the storm. Oh, yeah! Yes. yeah. This is a sad one. The speed of art is the speed of art is Charlotte Solomon writing her illustrated poetic diary in defence of her destiny in the death camps in Poland. Art is a serious business. Art is not entertainment. Yeah. And thank you very much for coming to the art. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah.